Hey, it's Lenny Gale with Life is No Yoke. This is the which Vitamix to buy in 2018 video. We're gonna have picks for you, the best for new owners, the upgrade pick, the budget pick, and in the description, you'll find promo code embedded links to all of our picks. So do use those links in the description when you make your pick for the best Vitamix for you in 2018. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, so the best Vitamix for new owners in 2018 is the Vitamix A2500. So that's an Ascent series, which means it comes with a 10-year warranty, the container is dishwasher safe, it has the smart self-detect technology, and it is Bluetooth compatible for the smart scale app and scale. Uh, you don't have to use that, but it's there if you want it. All Ascent machines. The A2500, it has the switch for on-off, a switch for pulse, as a one through 10 variable speed dial and three preset programs, so which is really nice to give you that walk away blending we think is so important for that optimal Vitamix owning experience. What's important to know about the A2500 is you can do everything in this machine. It's like all the Vitamix machines, you can do everything, you can make all the things that you would wanna make, smoothies, juices, ice creams, nut butters, flours, hot soups, everything. All machines can do everything. This one is, right in the middle, it doesn't have the most features, it's not the most scaled back, it has a lot of things and is a really good fit for most people, especially new owners. So like all Ascents, it's really aesthetically pleasing. It looks good from all sides. And so that's our pick. The best Vitamix for most new owners in 2018, the Vitamix A2500. All right, also great is the Vitamix A3300. So it's an Ascent, so it has all the Ascent features. It also has, just like the A2500, it has the one through 10 variable speed dial. The difference is that it has a touch on off button and a touch pulse button. Now the A3300, it doesn't have the one touch programs that the A2500 has, but it does have a programmable timer. So you can set a time and it will count down, kind of like how you set a microwave, 30 seconds start, walk away, so you get that same walk away blending effect. So that's why we say that the A3300 is also great because it does all the things that the A2500 does. The big difference is the touch on and off and the touch pulse button and a different sort of method of getting that walk away blending effect. I mean, for a while we said that the A3300 is a really savvy pick. It really comes down to personal preference if you like the feel of the switches on the A2500, if you like the look of the touch on and off and the touch pulse on the A3300 and are comfortable uh, being in a little more control of the, the walk away blending effect, then the 3300 is for you. Either way, they're both great and they're both equally good picks for new Vitamix owners in 2018. Okay, our upgrade pick. If you wanna get the Vitamix with all the bells and whistles, the latest and greatest go with the Vitamix A3500, the Ascent series. It's just like the A3300, except for it has five pre -pre uh, preset programs. Also, and this is really important, it comes with your option, your choice of uh, true metal finishes. And this is really nice if you care a lot about what your Vitamix looks like on your counter. We always tell people that your, your Vitamix is the thing that is gonna live on your counter. It's gonna be that constant reminder. But if you have a new kitchen, if you want something that really fits in the scheme, the design of your kitchen, you have a few really good options that are really sharp and really uh, high design in those true metal finishes. The second benefit to the true metal finishes is it provides more sound dampening than any other model. And so, the Vitamix A3500, if you get one of the true metal finishes, it's gonna be by far the quietest Vitamix that you can get. Now, the, none of them are quiet. They are uh, powerful machines, but they are the, the A3500 is definitely the least loud Vitamix that you can buy. So the upgrade pick, the Vitamix A3500, that's what we have, a great pick if uh, you want the latest and greatest, all the bells and whistles. Okay, the budget pick. The best Vitamix for someone who's on a budget is the Explorian E310. This comes with a one through 10 variable speed dial, an on off switch, a pulse switch, the five year warranty, the narrow 48 ounce container, and it's brand new. And so this was a machine that people were asking for, sort of a no frills Vitamix. We love it. 
it's perfect for people that come to us. Our peers who are, are still living on a budget are raising families. It's a great way to get into the Vitamix family, to get that first Vitamix and, and really step up to, to better blends and doing more uh, in the kitchen with less. Now you'll notice that we've recommended uh, a scent for almost all of these picks. Now there's a chance that you don't have access to a scent if you're watching this video from the UK. So which Vitamix should you get if you cannot get a scent or Explorian? We recommend getting the Vitamix Pro 750. We absolutely adore the Pro 750. It's the, it's the G series, on off switch, the pulse switch, one through 10 variable speeds, five pre-programmed settings, comes with that brush stainless finish and it does all the things really well. Don't wait for a scent if it's not in your neighborhood yet. Get the Pro 750, we love it. If this wasn't our full-time job, helping people figure out which Vitamix to buy, making Vitamix recipes, we definitely would have kept our Pro 750. We would not have gotten rid of it to get an ascent. And that's why we say to people who have a Pro 750 or even who have a 5200, you don't need to worry about upgrading. Don't feel the need to upgrade, it's not necessary. Yeah, unless you have someone you wanna hand your machine down to, to get something with a different look, um, they really all perform at the same high level. So why do we have an Ascent if we wouldn't have given up our Pro 750? Well, it's the same reason that we recommend the Ascent to new owners. They come with a longer warranty and they do more. So control the machine with our phone to create custom programming. This is a functionality that's coming really soon. And I know this is intimidating to certain folks. Want to make it really clear, it's not necessary to utilize these technologies if you have an Ascent. It's a bonus. Ascents can still work manually with the dial or with the preset programs. You don't need a Wi-Fi connection to operate an Ascent machine. With the Bluetooth stuff, you won't even know that the capability is there unless you want to use it. Uh, also great, all the legacy models, so G-Series, C-Series, if you can find a deal on one of these legacy Vitamix machines, go for it. Again, all Vitamix machines can do all the things. So if you find a great price on a legacy machine, absolutely go for it. Otherwise, get something in the Ascent series. That's where Vitamix headquarters is putting all of its efforts into creating accessories, supporting it's the Ascent series. The Ascent series is the future, so in most cases, that's where you should go. Okay, I wanna do two more things. One, I wanna talk superlatives. Two, answer some FAQs, and then we'll close this thing out, okay? So why not the A2300? We figure if you're gonna go with a budget pick, go with the Explorer E310. It's more economical, and it's gonna give you the same results. When you're ready, you'll get an ascent with that walk-away blending whatever, feature. You'll get a push button or like the countdown timer, like the microwave. Why not S series? S30, S50, S55, the personal blending machines. These are great as a secondary Vitamix, something that you're gonna throw in your suitcase and carry with you if you travel a lot, if you live on the road. But for the most part, for the dollars, you're gonna get a lot more out of having a full size machine. Okay, what about the Venturist V1200? Okay, so you're a Costco member and you saw this demonstrated, you wanna know about this machine. First of all, go for it. If a, if, a, if a demonstrator is selling it to you, absolutely give them the business, do it. It's a lot of value. But you have to know, it's probably not the best deal because it's packaged in a package and you can get a better price on a machine to get a Vitamix. You also have to know that the design of it is Frankenstein. So it's a Ascent inside with a G series outside. The design of it is not sort of coherent. And the third thing about the Ventures 1200, it's very loud. They are louder than most Vitamix machines. And so the main point is that if you're new to Vitamix, you don't need everything in that package. You're better off getting just the one thing that you do need and using that really well and then if there comes a time when you want a secondary container, go for it. There's always deals through direct sales on those containers. Okay, superlatives. Which Vitamix should I get if I live alone? It's just me. We recommend the E310. It's got that narrow, uh, low profile 48 ounce container. It's great for making smaller smoothies and juices, uh, smaller batches of nut butters and ice cream. It's best for someone who lives alone. Which Vitamix should I get if I am visually impaired? 
really easy. This is the Vitamix A2300. So this is that Ascent series, that entry level Ascent series without pre-programmed settings. It's got the on off switch, the pulse switch, and the one through 10 variable speed dial. It's the best machine to feel like you're in control. Okay, the best Vitamix for a young family. We recommend the A3300 or the A3500. So what do these machines have in common? These are the Ascent series with the touch on off and the touch pulse button. The touch on off makes it more difficult for toddler fingers to turn the machine on. And second, if they do, since the one through 10 dial is electronic, so it resets every time the machine is turned off, you don't run the risk of them turning it on and then having it explode on variable speed 10. That's the same thing with grandma. Yeah, like it may seem silly to get grandma the, the latest and greatest, all the bells and whistles Vitamix, but if it outlives her, then you... No. <laughs> the best Vitamix for those wanting to ease into a whole food plant-based diet? All of them, that's a trick question. Uh, that's what we do. We show people how to use Vitamix to adopt a, a more of a whole food plant-based diet. So if you found this video helpful, please do use our promo code embedded referral links to Vitamix. It'll get you the best possible deal and it'll make sure that we get credit. And so it's free to you and every little bit helps. We so much appreciate it. Click on the links in the description. There's a link on our site, referral link to Vitamix. Do use that before you check out. And what else can we say? Um, what else can we say? Those are our picks for 2018. Those are our picks for which Vitamix to buy in 2018. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We have a website that's loaded with resources for people like you that are looking to take the plunge. And for when you do get a Vitamix, uh, recipes and resources, tips and tricks, uh, a wonderful newsletter every Saturday. Come hang out. Get a Vitamix and join our world. We'd love to have you. Click like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in 2019. Bye. Thank you for watching. Oh, I have a band aid on. That's weird. Do I need to take my band aid off so people don't see it? It's just a band aid. What happened to your finger? Are you high? What happened to your finger? Were you picking your nose? Did you put your finger so far up your nose you broke it. Were you picking your butt? <laughs> Did you shove your ring finger in the Vitamix? <laughs>